Hey everyone, it's Miss Vanessa, and today I am here to go through step-by-step -step instructions on how to make this origami star ornament. Now this is going to be included in our intermediate kit for our second annual make and take ornaments. Last year we had an in-person program where everyone was able to get together and make some ornaments and we can't do in person this year, but me and Miss Michaelin, or Miss Michaelin and I came up with a few ideas uh, and got together some kits. So there's gonna be a beginner's kit, an intermediate kit, and an advanced kit. And they will be available while supplies last from November 2nd through November 20th, or until we run out, whichever, whichever comes first. Um, and you can come to the children's department or call and um, ask us, uh, you know, let us know which kit you would like and we can get one for you. Um, so this, so, and there will be two crafts in each kit, and you will actually be able to make two of each craft that's in the kit. So one for you to keep for your own tree, and one for you to bring back for us that we can put on our tree when we put it up in December. Um, and we also have uh, some garland strips to make the circle garlands uh, that you guys can help us out with. If you combine your chain and bring it back, we're gonna combine everybody who participates into one big chain to, to put around our tree to make an awesome community garland. We thought that would be a pretty cool idea. So, but if you have any other questions or uh, want more information, you can call me at 439-5504. And I or one of the other North Shelby staff members will be happy to help you out. So we are gonna go through step-by-step -step on this uh, origami star. Now, Miss Vanessa is not as good at origami as Miss Michaelin is, so I'm going to do my best. So, and as you can see, how you fold <laughs> will show how pointy your tips are. I did pretty good on that one. But as you can see, my fold was just a little off, but it still looks pretty good and it's mine. So uh, I'm pretty happy with it overall. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. And there are step-by-step uh, -step picture instructions. Uh, I've included a link to an outside resource on uh, the little insert that will be in the kit. But if you go to, um, like an origamiinstructions.com, they uh, will have this um, on their site that you can do picture by picture if that works better for you. So, okay, so in order to make this guy, what we're gonna need are eight sheets of paper, or in this case, book pages. These were from damaged books that uh, were worn and torn or no longer able to be in our collection, so we had to remove them from the collection, but, and they weren't, you know, in appropriate shape to, to try to sell in our, any future book sales, so we are rehoming them in a different way so that the pages and the words can last a little bit longer and bring a little beauty into your lives. So you will need eight sheets. These are roughly about five inches, and that's how, uh, long the ones should be in your um, in your kits. They may be a little less or a little more, but that's fine. So I'm gonna show you with one sheet. So I got the rest of my sheets right there. So all right, so we're gonna take this and place it down in a little diamond shape. And then our first step is to fold it in half, just like this. Like I said, you want this to match up as best as you can. So I'm gonna may just hold this up just to see. I'm gonna try to do my best, but like I said, if you're a little off, you could see on Miss Vanessa's other example how it just makes it a little bit more special if it's not 100% perfect. But 100% perfect is pretty special too, so. <laughs> However you do it is fine. So I made my fold, and you want to try to make a solid fold. You don't want to, uh, you know, once you commit, you kind of commit to the fold. Because if you undo it and keep trying, it'll weaken uh, your piece of paper, and it may not combine with the other papers the way you want. Okay. So we've done our first fold. That is major progress. 
So step two, we're going to start from the top right here. And we're going to fold both sides over so that this edge meets that middle fold. I'm about to show you what I mean. Making sure you guys can see. So we're lining it up so that it meets the middle like that. Okay, there it is. And then we're going to do the same thing. So it should look like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So make sure that edge meets in that middle. Give it a nice, good fold. There we go. So you should have something that looks like this right now. It's kind of a long triangle with a little triangle, upside down triangle on its bottom. Okay, so here's the next tricky part. So. We're going to take this guy, so from this bottom one, we're going to fold these sides to the center. So that these guys, this is the, there we go. So sometimes you can kind of manipulate the paper so that it, uh, so you don't commit to the fold until you're absolutely ready. Okay, so that looks like it's about center. So I'm committing to that fold. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same to the other side. Like I said, I'm not going to commit till I feel good and ready. So I'm just kind of gently rolling and you kind of, you know, you want it to match up as best you can. Make sure I'm not, off, okay, I'm not off camera. <laughs> I was worried I was getting a little off camera there for you. So there we go. So then you should have a little diamond shape that looks like that. Okay, Miss Vanessa is hopping back in here in the middle of my tutorial. I realized when I was reviewing stuff, I kind of didn't explain this section very well. Um, so if my progress looks a little different, then that's why. So this fold is a little tricky. Um, we're going to letter the points. So, like, so this is A, and this is B, and this is D, C. So A. B, C, and D. So for this fold, we're going to take the line A to B, and we're going to fold it B to C. And that may not make much sense because it doesn't make too much sense to Miss Vanessa, but we are going to go through it right now. So basically, if you see where this little fold is right here, we're folding this part to kind of match and meet up with that part right there. Do you see that? See how that's folding to meet right there? So I'm kind of folding it before I commit to make sure I'm all lined up. And as you can see, this part right here should match with that edge along there. But the key thing is if you get this lined up, everything else should be lined up pretty well. So I'm ready to commit. So committing means I am sharpening my fold right there, pressing down really hard. So if you lift it up, so you have this diagonal right here. So then the next step So remember our letter corners, this is A and D. So we're going to fold AD to CD. 
And basically what that means is just make sure, see that right here? You want this fold to meet up with it just like that. And this section over here should fold and meet up. So I'm committing. And so that's kind of how your fold, oops, excuse me, that's how your fold will look. So when you open it, you will have a little X in the middle, and the point should be in the middle of your work right there. So okay, that should be a review. I probably didn't explain that much better this time, but uh, the other time I was saying it, it didn't make any sense. So I'm going to take you back to the past now and uh, proceed with the next step of the project. All right, bye. So we're going to flip this over now, and you should see the crisscross sections. If you can see them, I'm trying to get it close up for you. Okay, there we go. So we're going to refold those in this direction. So you should be able to feel and see where it is. Make sure, yep. That all is looking well. There we go. Oops, I think Miss Vanessa actually just messed that up a little, but say so that's okay, we can salvage it. I think we should be all right, but the more boo-boos you make like that, the more it will be difficult to tell. Okay, so for our next step, there's also this little fold right here. I'm going to do a valley fold. So we're going to bring that up. Just like that. And you should still have the fold. So you're going to have to play with it a little bit, do some squeezing. So that all those folds you've done, voila, will help bend it all into place. Let me see if I can undo that again. So we folded this one upward into a valley, and then we kept this one pushed down. And usually if you have folded correctly, you should be able to gently just kind of squeeze it into there. And as y'all can see, Miss Vanessa is not that great at origami, so, um, so if that doesn't work out, just go back through the video or refer to the origami instructions um, through the link that I included on the insert. So what Miss Vanessa is going to do now is make about seven more of these. So I'm going to do that off camera so you don't have to watch the same process seven times over and then I will come back on at the end and show you guys how to connect them. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so now I'm back and I have folded eight total of these little pieces of our star. And as you can see, like Miss Vanessa said, they may not be super perfect and that's okay. This should still work pretty well and still look pretty awesome. And most of all, it will be unique. Okay, so the next step is we have to connect all these guys. And to do that, we're going to start with one. Then we're going to take another one. 
And so you can kind of see where there's the longer point and a little shorter point on both of these. You can see that. And so I have it where um, the shorter part is on the right and the longer part is on the left. So this will be a little wiggly and tricky, so. But basically you're going to take the smaller piece and you're going to tuck it into the other, the bigger piece. And you're wanting to make sure that fold gets tucked in. Or excuse me, so the smaller, the little smaller piece should get tucked in. Then you wanna make sure that part of the bigger one folds over the smaller one to kind of tuck it in. And it'll be a little loose for a little bit until you um, uh, get them all together. So, um, and stuff may pop out and go all over the place, but you just kind of work with it and it should eventually all, all come together. So we'll do that again. So I'm taking another one. So this is the smaller piece and I'm tucking it. So just going right to the next one. The one we just did, I'm going to tuck it in. And this part can be a little frustrating, but I promise if you stick with it, it should work out. And it's always very rewarding, rewarding when it does. It's okay. There we go. Like I said, these will kind of pop out, you know, for a little bit. So you do want to be a little bit careful and then just keep going. Okay, so I'm toward the end where I need to connect the last one. And as you can see, the rest of mine are a little disheveled and that is okay. We should be able to fix it. So I'm gonna tuck and fold. And I'm gonna go back through and tuck and fold all the places that got loose because that will likely happen. I'm just kind of gently doing it one by one. Like I said, the folds are pretty easy and you guys may be better at this than Miss Vanessa. This one seems quite a bit loose. This one needs to be tucked and folded. All right, and a few of my if you lay it down and flatten it, that will help a bit. Okay. And there we have it. Like I said, if it's a little loose, you may still need to work at it and play with it. Miss Vanessa could probably play with this one a bit more and get some of these guys tucked in a little bit more. Let's see. There we go. I think this guy was a little, a little loose. But all right, so there is an origami star ornament. 
So and there's my other one. So you can tie some string. You should have a middle part. And you do need to be a little bit careful because, you know, since it is connected without any glue or tape or anything like that, it is just connected by your folds. So you can either flatten it a bit more to get it a little bit more firm, or it should hang just fine. Just be a little bit careful with it. But if you notice, there's a little hole right there, and you can take some string and uh, thread it through that hole so that it will hang. Or if you would rather have a hole puncher, you could punch a hole you know, on one of the tips if you'd like. So, but I hope that helped you guys. And